Hey all you cool cats and kittens. And welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I wanted to give y'all a quick lighthearted video just to break up your timeline and because I wanted to experiment. So the impetus for this video is that first of all a lot of people have done this but I wanted to try out products that I used to use in middle school and high school with the technique that I use now. I wanted to revisit those products because when I was in middle school and high school, there wasn't a natural hair aisle in the store like there is now. There was Tresemme and Garnier and L'Oreal and Pantene and things like that. And they didn't have their gold series or whatever they do now that's specifically for black natural hair. They had stuff and you just had to make it work. <laughs> and I will say that at least where I grew up, there was an ethnic hair section, but even then it was still mostly tailored towards relaxed hair at the time. So um, we just had to freak it, you know, and figure out what worked on curly hair. So without further ado, the products that I'll be talking to y'all about today are the Garnier Fructis products. I tried the intensely smooth, the sleek and shine intensely smooth leave-in conditioning cream. And this was 282 at my local Walmart. And then the curl sculpt conditioning cream gel. And this was 382 at my local Walmart. The leave-in conditioner is 10 ounces and this is only five, which might explain the price, but hey, it's cheap and it's widely available. And just so that I'm not holding y'all, that's a new phrase that I learned. Um, but yeah, just so I'm not holding y'all and this is not clickbait, I absolutely recommend both of these products. And I also will say, I know a lot of folks are tight on cash right now, um, you know, or we're just not able to go to places like we usually do. These products and others, you can find at the grocery store, like not just at you know big box stores like target and walmart that are still open you can actually find these at the grocery store so that wasn't my intention when i first came up with this for myself and tried it but just a little aside what i did with these products is what i would normally do now i was not trying to replicate my jacked up hairstyles from when i was 14 years old i washed and conditioned my hair like i know how to now uh, towel dried with a t-shirt sectioned my hair and then applied the two of these what i will say about this leave-in conditioner back in the day how i used to use this was i would wash my hair dry it with a towel comb through it with a fine tooth comb and no product and you know it was not actually conditioned very well, but no product in not well conditioned hair. And then I would put this on after so that my hair wouldn't dry out. Then I would work my hair into a braided bun and put a Tresemme gel. Y'all see my forehead. Imagine my forehead with my hair slicked back every day. Like I actually had a receding hairline from doing that. So I wanted to do this product a little bit more justice. Sorry if you can hear October, you always can hear October, the dog. So then the Curl Sculpt Conditioning Cream Gel. I used to use when I first started wearing my hair curly and that was probably around like 2009, 2010. I wanna say this product was new then actually. Um, I used to use it by itself and I was very disappointed. I hated this. I gave it to my mom because she can make most products work and I just let it go. But using this now as a grown up that knows how to style their own hair, this was great. Like this, it says it's out of one to five, it's a three hold, but I actually think that it is firmer than that. I, my one gripe with how my hair came out is that it was a little bit stiff and I think it's because of this gel. Um, it does not have that firm of a hold in terms of like clumping the curl, but 
this shit dries down like this is crunchy i realized that in the future when i use this product i do need to put um an oil i like to spray my ogx renewing shine argan oil weightless healing oil some shit it's a it's a ogx argan oil spray i use that between whatever leave-in i'm using and this gel and it comes out really good so here you can see how my hair looked freshly applied with product just out the shower um and it looked good it looked good and then next up you'll see how my hair looked after it was fully air dried but i didn't freak it i didn't pick it out that much or like style it like normal um i actually just did this and went to bed <laughs> i was satisfied with the product and i was tired because i did this on a friday so um my hair came out really good i will say that again i absolutely recommend these products I, as you can tell, used them for a wash and go. Um, I would only use the gel for that. I don't know that it would like hold a twist out or something, but it does really freeze the hair into place. My expert opinion, my 25 year old opinion versus my 12 year old opinion on these products is that compared to natural hair products that are on the market in 2020, this is a really good moisturizing leave-in conditioner and i do think that it can contend with some of the more expensive leave-ins on the market this is not a detangler though so i detangle my hair in the shower anyways but more and more i've started incorporating raking into how i style my hair to get the curls to clump just ever so slightly but not too much like they want to so this i don't know that it would help you comb out your hair like it doesn't really have slip and it's kind of reminis reminiscent to me of back when i used to use this because slip was not like a thing that people looked for i feel like or at least we didn't call it that but this is back in the day when people used to use you know vo5 conditioner as a leave-in that's slippery um or they were using this this is good for moisture like if i had been out in the sun all day or something i would slap this on my hair um i would use it i could use this almost as like an overnight deep conditioner you know like dampen my hair put a lot of this on it and just go to bed as far as how i style my hair this is a great leave-in it works really well um, and my hair is pretty prone to being dry it dries out very quickly um, especially because I use hair gels. So I used this on my hair today um, with tw Cantu Twist and Lock Gel. And I learned from the Garnier gel that I'm about to talk about to use an oil underneath a hair gel. So my hair isn't stiff. But as you can see, these cur the curls are there. There's a little bit of frizz because I keep my hands in my hair during the day. But it's really not that much and i feel like my hair came out really good so this is a great product and this is three dollars for 10 ounces okay if you're ingredient conscious maybe stay away from this use something like um not your mother's i keep seeing come up but if you're not this is good moving on to this cream gel this how do i explain it this is not made for black hair now i don't don't take that to mean that i don't think that it's a good product because i think that it's great i like i said this does not clump curls this i imagine is really good for somebody that has like a looser curl that kind of would just dry up into a curl on its own um this is not gonna clump your curls together so y'all have seen what my hair looks like wet okay if i let it air dry it would look like that it's still curly there's still ringlets to it but it's frizzy the curls like clump really tight like almost into locks in some places but other places where it's tighter it's kind of just a soft um it's 
just is soft kinks. This, I would be very intentional about what leave-in I pair it with um, because this, first of all, you need to use a heavy hand and I think that's why it's crunchy, but a light coating of this is just gonna lock your hair into however it looks wet. Now, if you're styling your hair and <laughs> just slapping a product on it, um, you know, if you have the time, this product I used earlier this week with my Miel leave-in conditioner that does have a little bit of hold and has a good amount of slip. And so that, my hair was already like prepped for something like this, which basically just kind of sealed it up. Right, so my hair wasn't frizzy using this. It was, it looked good, right? I'm not trying to bash this, but mm, what do I have to say about this? This is just a solid hair gel. This is a solid hair gel, it's good for curly hair. I would use, definitely use a leave-in. Some people just go straight in for gel, I don't know how, but use a leave-in and an oil with this. This is a good product. I think I like the leave-in a little bit more, but I plan on finishing this up. Another really good leave-in condition, or another really good, pretty widely available hair gel is the can, or at least affordable, I don't know about widely available, but Cantu Twist and Lock Gel is my baby. That, that actually might be, my favorite hair gel i told y'all a couple weeks ago my hair was not looking good and i was like let me just go back to basics which included buying these products like i wanted to try them out but to me this is the basics um and i got the cantu twist and lock gel because i have gone through several of those tubs that really does like get my hair into place this i feel like is a good like like a carefree product, you know? I will say too, this is not a drying hair gel. That conditioning part really does stand out. I can tell that this product came out before natural hair products were a thing because now it says with shea butter. And I feel like when I used to use it back in the day, it did not have shea butter. So for today's look, I paired the Garnier Fructis uh, leave-in conditioner with my beloved Cantu Twist and Lock Gel and my hair feels great. It doesn't feel dry at all. Um, it doesn't, it has hold, but it doesn't feel stiff. You can see the curls are like nice and springy. Um, and there really isn't too much frizz. Earlier this week, because I did want to try out these products with other ones to give them a fair shot. Um, this earlier I did, like I mentioned, use with my meal hair gel and my hair looked great. I, pairing these together, I just wanted to see what would happen and I wasn't trying too hard. Um, this combination would work well with a little bit of oil incorporated. I, you don't even have to swap them out. You could really do like a wash and go for six bucks with these. Seven? Seven. The new kid on the block in this video, cause I like, I picked this up at the same time and I feel like it should get a mention cause it's a Garnier product that I also really like. Um, and this is new to me. I don't know when this came out, but it's the Garnier Fruity style. Curl Refresh Reactivating Milk Spray, and it says it hydrates and defines curls for naturally curly hair, and it has a lot of coconut oil in it. That's the second ingredient, and it's up on the label. This is great. Um, one downside that I will say is that both of these products were $3.82. They're only five ounces. The leave-in costs a dollar less and is 10 ounces, so these are rather small products, and especially this being a spray, I imagine I'll go through it pretty quickly. If you've seen my past videos, you know the way that I restyle my hair in the morning is that I section it, wet it, and then put gel. And I found that just putting gel on my hair every day, it was making this like weird buildup, and I'm trying also to not wash my hair more than like twice a week. Normally I do three times, but um, I have a job now. So I would rather save myself the time. 
So I've been restyling my hair and because I'm not wash because I'm not washing my hair as often, I'm getting buildup, so I can't use something like Cantu gel every day or even Cantu curling cream. This is great because like it says, it's a milk. It's like a creamy consistency. Um, I'm not gonna spray it, but it's it's a thick cream. Like if you put enough of it in your hand, it'll, you know, it's not a solid at all. You know, it's not like the leave-in conditioner, but it, you'll see it in your palm. Um, the way that I use this is, you know, the same as you've seen me do. I section the sides of my hair that get flattened out and just go in directly with this. I don't use water. I tried that. It didn't really come out that good. I just go in with this. And my hair looks great. My hair looks like I just... Actually, it doesn't look like I just washed it. It has like the definition of a day one wash and go, but with the volume of like the days after. Um, I washed my hair this morning, so this is day one of my hair, and I think it looks good. Um, so this I really like. I don't know if it's because the second ingredient is coconut oil or just the way it's formulated, but this did give me buildup. Um, the other two products, they're not like heavy. This also is good as a hair gel because it's not sticky, and obviously this is great. I like this. Um, they didn't give me buildup like this did. So just be aware if you're gonna use this that you can't use it every day. Now that said, because it forms like a coating on the hair, by my second or third day applying that, I could just go in with water. So that was cool. And speaking of saving time, that saved a lot of time. I think yesterday I did that, just putting water in. I also have used the curl reactivating spray to just straight up restyle my hair. Like I went through section by section, used a liquid leave-in conditioning spray so it's not too much buildup and then just went in with that and that reactivated my curls no problem. All in all, I recommend these. If you are on the market for products because you can't access a beauty supply store or can't buy stuff online and you're in need of something, I definitely recommend this. Um, recommend these, excuse me. I especially like the leave-in conditioner and this curl reactivating spray. I wonder if this would be good for retwisting hair. Like if you did a really nice twist out and you're gonna retwist your hair before bed, this would be good for that. Um, and I say that because I only really do wash and go, so I'm trying to think for like other folks with natural hair what you could use these for. This is all around like good. If you like butters for your hair, this is thick enough, but if you just like something a little bit, like not a shea butter or a cocoa butter based product, um, something a little bit more watery, which is what I tend to like, this is good for that too. And also is $3, just test it out. This, I think, would only be for wash and goes. Um, and as I mentioned, it just locks the curls into place. So how you prep them is really important with this product. Because, like I mentioned, when I used to use this back in the day, and to be fair, I didn't know how to style my hair that well. But I used to comb my hair and then put this on. And this was not making my curls clump together like the cantu gel would or even if you also are in the if you're on the market for a different like basically grocery store hair product try tresemme hair gel any of them will do i think the one with the green label it's like a black tube with a green label that i might do another installation in installation i think installation of this video I might revisit that because i've been curious to try it Tresemme hair gel and y'all know I like Tresemme mousse So Just a quick fun video trying out these products. I recommend them Let me know if you've tried these before or what you used to use back in the day um, I've used some OG stuff. I used to use suave shampoo and conditioner and bo5 shampoo and conditioner um, What other stuff? did natural hair people on YouTube use?
Oh, I used to use mixed chicks back in the day. It was okay. It wasn't worth the price. Anyways, thank you. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Absolutely recommend these products. And I'll see you in my next video. I will have a special guest who is actually a human being and not just my pets. So stay tuned for that. I hope that y'all are well and staying healthy and well rested and being precautious. And that's that on that. And I'll see you in my next video.